Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. Welcome to the big news. The topic for today's discussion, demand for Bill Pradesh. Let us try and understand what is this topic all about. Before that, we have an announcement. Baiju's Exam Prep IAS is conducting a national scholarship test which is scheduled to be conducted on 29th of May 2022. How do you register? Follow the link given in the description box, give the necessary information and you would stand a chance of winning some attractive scholarships. Let's get started and try and understand what is this topic all about. Let's look into the context. There is one of the political parties called as the Bharatiya Tribal Party which happens to be a political party based in Gujarat. According to them, they believe that there has to be an establishment of a new state called as the Bill Pradesh which will be carved out of four different states. Which are these states? This includes Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. So according to this political party based in Gujarat, they want a separate state and this state will be called as Bill Pradesh and this particular state will be carved out of four different states where about 39 districts will be taken out of them and ultimately this will be formed as one single state according to Bharatiya tribal party. So they are requesting for the formation of what is called as Bill Pradesh. So in this particular backdrop, we will try and understand what is the historical picture, when did this idea of Bill Pradesh originally originate, why are they looking for it and we will also try and understand everything about this particular concept. First, we will try and understand who are these Bills. Bills are nothing but one of the ethnic groups. They are an Adivasi ethnic group who are present in the western part of India. When you consider multiple states in India, let's say Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra and Rajasthan, they have accorded tribal status to these bills. So when we consider bill, bill happens to be a word which is derived from a word called as wheel which happens to be a bow in the Dravidian language. What do they speak? They speak Billy which happens to be an Indo-Aryan language and what are their religious affiliations? When it comes to the religious beliefs and practices, most of them worship local deities like Kandoba, Kanhoba, Bahiroba, Sital Mata and some of them worship tiger god called as Vagdev. They have no temples of their own. They consult Badawas and these Badawas happen to be the hereditary wizards who on multiple occasions give their viewpoints with respect to the religious beliefs. The Baneshwar Fair is the main festival celebrated among the Bills and do note Bills happens to be one of the largest tribal population in the entire country. So the Bills are nothing but one one of the Adivasi ethnic group who are present in the western part of our country. Now what is that we have to understand? We have to understand the historical picture. When you go back to the historical picture, something was happening during the British period. Up until the British period, these bills were governed by the so-called old feudal structure. So you have the feudal structure. The old feudal structure was governing all the societal principles with respect to the bills. And once we had the British, the British also took over and the matters became much worse when it comes to the governance of the bills. So the bills, especially in Rajasthan and Gujarat, mostly worked as the bonded labor. And in the year 1899, something else was happening during this period and that is when a large famine hit this particular area. So the great famine of 1899 and 1900 across the Deccan and the Bombay presidency claimed over 6 lakh victims. In the 6 lakh victims, the tribals were the worst affected as well. So if you have to consider some of the princely states like the Banaswara, Santapur, they were also particularly affected by this particular famine as well as by the drought-like conditions. So because there was famine, because there were large-scale drought-like conditions, because it is these people who were hit by the British as well as their policies, there was one of the movement that immediately takes place from this particular tragedy and that happens to be a social reform movement. So this social reform movement was led by social reformer who happens to be Govinda Guru. So during this particular period, he comes up with what is called as Bhagat movement in the year 1908. What is this Bhagat movement basically? This is a movement to propagate some of the Hindu practices like vegetarianism, abstaining from alcohols among the bills. He also encouraged them to question the policies of the British. He also encouraged 
encouraged them to reject the bonded labor he also asked them to fight for their rights as well and during this period the princely states of durgampur banswara santrampur where this particular movement was strongest led to this particular region where they had a continuous awakening because of this social reform movement so once they were awakened about their particular rights what exactly happens they started asking more for their particular job they performed certain kind of job so they started asking the british pay more for their job as well and at the same time they also felt that if their rights are not respected they would also not work in some of the areas the british got very angry why because people started exercising their rights and it is during this particular period that we have british who also felt that they have to suppress this particular movement this is where we have one of the massacres called as the mangav massacre what is this mangav massacre govind guru sent out a call to all his followers to gather for a religious fair in the month of november and many bills began to gather on the mangav hill and during this particular period a rumor spread that they were planning to revolt against the princely states of banswara and santrapur and establish a bill state so the worried rulers turned to the british for the help and this ultimately led to a fight between the british as well as the tribal community leading to what is called as mangara massacre so the combined forces of the princely states of banswara bangarpur santrapur along with the bill corps of mewa state completely surrounded this particular hill state and as a result what do they do they start firing bullets and ultimately many tribal people lost their lives as well so because many people started losing their lives many people became bedridden many people were asking for their rights but their ultimate rights were completely dismantled their rights was completely compressed what we have is govind the guru who was a bill social reformer a spiritual leader took up another meeting and for the first time a demand for a separate state for the tribal groups came in the year 1913 after the mangav massacre so because people were asking for their rights because they wanted to move against the bonded labor because they were seeking more payment and ultimately everything was suppressed by the british so for the first time after this particular massacre took place which is also called as adivasi jallianwala this particular issue take took up back in the year 1913 now the present situation is the first time they took this particular issue they wanted a separate state for the tribals back in 1913 and now we also have another movement which is currently raking up in these parts of india like in gujarat and also in rajasthan as well where they want to establish a separate state which is called as bill pradesh so historically this is the picture historically this is called as mango massacre historically Basically, this is also called as Adivasi Jalain Wala Bag, and now in the present situation, what they are asking for is for a separate state where four different states, their districts will have to be clubbed together, and from this, it lead to formation of a Bill Pradesh is the proposal made by the present political party. Now the question is, why are they seeking for this separate state? That is because earlier Durgampur. Banswara Udaipur region in Rajasthan and Gujarat Madhya Pradesh etc was part of a single entity but post independence the tribal majority regions were divided by the political parties so that the tribals don't organize and unite there were various measures such as protection of tribal interests through the fifth schedule under article 244 of 1 of the constitution but most of these were assurances given by the ruling party ultimately nothing turned into reality so large number of assurances were given number of rights that were accorded to the tribals ultimately had to be imposed ultimately had to come into reality but this were just on the paper they were not turning into reality as well several other union governments laws benefits schemes programs multiple other initiatives were taken for these tribal groups but none of them were ex- executed and implemented so because these tribal groups feel that all political parties are the same irrespective of which political party is they only want to appease the tribal section they only want to consider them as the oat bank they only have given rights on the paper but not in reality these people feel that when it comes to the tribal rights they are getting violated and as a result what they want is a separate state 
called as Bill Pradesh where they would govern on their own and ultimately all their rights would be respected. So is this demand for the Bill Pradesh gaining ground? The creation of a separate Bill Pradesh is one of the main objectives of the BTP for which they are directly involved. They have been speaking and having meetings and having regular processions and all that they are requesting is for a separate state for which they are mobilizing the tribals, creating an awareness among the tribal community. So what is the expectation? The expectation is basically that you have these bill migrants, the bill population, the bill tribal groups who are spread across multiple states in India. All these migrants from this particular community will have to come back to their original place of origin and they have to be respected for their rights is the first major objective. So what is that they are looking at? They will take over all these places. They will respect their natural resources. They will take care of their own natural resources. They will prioritize their own governance rules. And ultimately, all the safeguards and the rights that are accorded to the tribals will be accorded to them in full reality. They will take over their land. They will also prioritize their own natural resources. So the people of the community are demanding for the reacquisition of the land from which they were forced to emigrate to multiple other places in India. When you look at the Bill community, the Bill community originally were living in the forest areas. They had all the control over the natural resources. That was the main livelihood means and programs. But now, because they are made to move to multiple other states, they are working in abysmal conditions. So all that this particular party wants is that these bills should come back to their original land and they should work for safeguarding the rights of this tribal community. It is this that we have to understand with respect to this article. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. All the best.